Another Times correspondent, Herbert Matthews, also covered for collectivism. During the so-called Spanish Civil War in the late 1930s, Communists throughout Spain brutally massacred more than 6,000 priests, friars, and nuns. Matthew's dispatches, however, depicted the communists as idealistic democrats seeking to liberate Spain from tyranny. No mention was made of the communist atrocities. Later, when the Times assigned Matthews to report on Cuba, he crafted an image of an obscure revolutionary as a romantic and idealistic hero, supported by thousands of Cubans. Matthew's stories set the stage for a campaign to bring Fidel Castro to power. As other observers noted, Castro got his job through the New York Times. Meanwhile, Matthew's reports assured Americans that Castro definitely was not a communist. After seizing power, Castro began eliminating all potential internal opposition. Firing squads operated day and night. Matthew's reaction to Castro's slaughtering was callous. Youth must sow its wild oats. Despite his blatantly pro-communist reporting, the Times kept Matthews on staff for over 45 years.